Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Good afternoon. I am Liesl Riddle, Associate Dean for Graduate Programs for the George Washington University School of Business. It's my honor to welcome you to our 2020 virtual master's and doctoral graduation celebration. Today, we honor our master's and doctoral students who have met all of the requirements of their respective degrees and therefore, at the end of this celebration, will be graduates of one of the most elite universities in the country. Now I wanna take a moment to give you an overview of our ceremony today. On your screens, you will see a scrolling list of the names of all of our graduates by degree in alphabetical order. Please note, by some of our graduates, you will see below their name if they were a 2020 graduate awardee and or if they were a Beta Gamma Sigma inductee. Each year, GWSB honors both graduates who are at the top of their program and graduates that were leaders in their respective programs. Beta Gamma Sigma is an honor society for AACSB accredited business programs. Inductees are an elite group of the top 15% of each class. It is now my pleasure to introduce one of this year's impressive graduates, our 2020 graduate student speaker, Victoria Abril. Victoria is the proud daughter of two Latino parents from Cuba and Ecuador, and she grew up in sunny South Florida. Today, Victoria is graduating with a master's of accountancy as part of GWSB's four plus one specialized master's program. Victoria graduated from GW in May 2019 with her undergraduate degree in accounting. During her undergraduate experience, Victoria served as the president of the Undergraduate Business Association and the GW Catholics Student Organization. As both an undergraduate and graduate student, Victoria served as a coordinator for the F. David Fowler Career Center assisting with special projects. Always willing to lend a helping hand, Victoria has made an impact on GWSB and her fellow peers as a leader and mentor. After graduation, Victoria will be staying in the DC area and will join KPMG in the fall as a federal audit associate. Good afternoon, distinguished guests, faculty, staff, deans, family, friends, and the class of 2020. Could any one of us have imagined that this is how we would be celebrating our commencement from the GW School of Business? Well, here we are and we're making the best of it. If we've learned anything from the challenges that we faced, it is that we live in an increasingly interdependent planet. I think we can all agree that this last year that we've spent together has been an incredibly demanding year. And I'm not necessarily talking about final exams, master's thesis, doctoral dissertations, or the routine academic obstacles that graduate students face. Not to mention, reworking our resumes, interviewing for jobs, or possibly contemplating the fact that we may need to relocate to a new city. It should be obvious to us all that we really are in this together, and that our common fears, shared interests, and the similarity of our goals unite us far more than the issues that differentiate us. The School of Business at the George Washington University is a microcosm of the world that we live in. Sitting in Professor Kayes' Leadership and Executive Development class and looking around, 
I realized there is really no such thing as the typical GWSB graduate student. In fact, we are a reflection of our global community. My class was comprised of a manager at the World Bank looking to further her education in hopes of bringing back new and innovative ideas to her international financial institution. An experienced consultant who is pursuing an advanced degree to enhance his skill sets. An entrepreneur with aspirations to start his own company. A teacher who wants to break barriers and set an example for her students. And lastly, a physician who seeks to expand his horizons within the constantly changing and complex healthcare arena. These are just a few of the dynamic personalities representing different backgrounds, ethnicities, nationalities, and career paths. But one thing is certain, we all share the same passion to excel and to challenge not just ourselves, but those around us. Unquestionably, we are all highly motivated and we have chosen to pursue a graduate degree, perhaps for personal fulfillment, career advancement, or for those ever elusive definitions of success. For others, it may be the unquenchable thirst to achieve more. And for each and every one of us, the passion to share the knowledge that we have acquired with our communities, our cities, and our countries, while representing our alma mater that we have all come to know as GWSB. As a young girl, I was inspired by my grandfather, who was born and raised in Cuba. He fled shortly after the start of the Cuban Revolution to avoid persecution and in search of a better life for his family, as many immigrants still do today. His joy for life is something that I admired, as he never let the possibility of failure or life's many obstacles discourage him along the way. It is the experiences of my immigrant family that have shaped me and made me the woman that I am today. My grandfather always felt that there was no greater sin than not taking risks for fear of failure. One of his favorite sayings was, Pobrecito, pasó por la vida sin penas ni sin glorias. Loosely translated, this means this person went through life without sorrow or disappointment, but also without glory or triumph. In other words, to have never had a great love, but also to have never lost a great love. Each and every one of us has our own unique story, and together we have written the story of the class of 2020. It is the diversity and makeup of our student body that sets us apart in the academic world. It is also our shared beliefs that unite us and serve as the catalyst for change and progress. It is our distinct experiences which we bring to the next phase of our respective lives. We now embark on our life after GW. For some of us, it means the opportunity to achieve greater rewards in our current pursuits or in our future endeavors. For others, like myself, it represents the beginning of a career in the corporate world we now have an even greater confidence that our tenacity will allow us to break through the barriers and constraints that we will undoubtedly face. Unfortunately, we are already seeing many of these challenges in real time. The foundation that we have obtained through our graduate degree from this prestigious university unlocks a myriad of possibilities that we must exploit. It would be disappointing to squander the amazing opportunities that have been afforded to us. The avenues that we choose to pursue are limitless and the paths that we must avoid are those of avarice and selfishness. And instead, we should be cognizant of our responsibility to humanity and to the generations that will follow us. If these unprecedented times have taught us anything, it is that we must remember to celebrate moments like these, cherish our loved ones, and thank those that have supported us throughout this journey. No, this graduation may not be how we all imagined, but yes, it is still our day to be recognized and to be proud of our many accomplishments. Now, I urge you, in fact, I implore you not to live a life of complacency. Do not sit back and let things happen. We have come too far. We have already taken the first step by pursuing our graduate degrees from the George Washington University School of Business. Do not be afraid to dream. Do not be scared to imagine. And most importantly, do not let life pass us by. This is of paramount importance. We must not lose that sense of urgency. For the sake of humanity and our planet, Let's continue to write our own remarkable stories. To the graduating class of 2020, I say to you, congratulations, we made it. Thank you for the great speech, Victoria. I now have the pleasure of introducing the Dean of the School of Business, Dr. Anuj Marotra. Anuj Marotra is the Dean of the George Washington University School of Business. Under his leadership, GWSB has reimagined graduate business education through its modular, stackable, and flexible offerings, which feature industry-driven certificates that can be used to create customizable master's degrees, 
and by themselves serve as an important learning experience for those seeking to upskill and reskill. This innovative design allows the school to proactively respond to the shifting demands of business education. The school has also made changes to its undergraduate offerings by launching new Bachelor of Science degrees in business analytics and information systems, as well as created a business major for non-business school students. GWSB has also invested in making its programs more accessible through online education. Dean Marotra is credited with engaging the alumni and the business communities through innovative programs that focus on student success and lifelong learning. In 2019, alumni giving increased 20% and GWSB significantly improved in both national and global rankings while realizing substantial growth in graduate student enro enrollment. Dean Marotra received his doctoral degree in operations research from the Georgia Institute of Technology, his master's degree from Virginia Tech, and his bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from the Birla Institute of Technology and Science in India. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dean Anuj Marotra. Thank you, Dean Riddle. Good afternoon, and again, Welcome to the George Washington University School of Business Master's and Doctoral Graduation Celebration. As we push through what is arguably the most challenging time we have faced as a society in living memory, the resilience demonstrated by our GWSB community has been impressive. The class of 2020 deserves to be congratulated for your outstanding adaptability, perseverance and can-do spirit in overcoming the disruptions and meeting the challenges brought about by the global crisis. We are so very proud of you. Your class will always be a special class in GWSB's history and in our hearts. Despite the current situation, we are not going to let this moment pass without celebrating you and your graduation. Although we are holding a special virtual commencement ceremonies this spring, there is nothing virtual about your achievements. So I am proud to offer my sincere, actual congratulations to the class of 2020. I hope each of you will be able to accept GW President Thomas LeBlanc's invitation to join the class of 2021 on the National Mall next May for our traditional graduation ceremony during our bicentennial year. Now I would like to introduce our 2020 commencement keynote speaker and GWSB alumnus John Samuel. John Samuel is an award-winning business development leader with over 13 years of experience building strategic partnerships, designing profitable business models, and transforming organizations around the world. He is currently the head of LCI Tech and is responsible for launching the new technology service, services business for LCI, which is one of the largest employers of Americans who are blind. John has a proven record of accomplishment in leading startup initiatives, previously helping build Homestrings, a fintech platform focused on diaspora's investments and starting a highly successful joint venture in Cameroon for Aster, a global telecom infrastructure company. John holds a Bachelor of Science in Accounting from NC State University, Poole College of Management, and a Master of Business Administration from the George Washington University School of Business. He is also a certified professional in accessibility core competencies. He serves on the Aravind Eye Foundation Board, the largest eye care provider in the world. In 2019, John received the Triangle Business Journal's 40 Under 40 Leadership Award and was named to Business Influencers List, a list of 100 young leaders to watch nationally. Thank you, Dean Mahotra, Dean Riddle, Dean Kanungo, faculty, alumni, friends, families, and especially the graduates. What can I say? These are strange times. When I pictured the year 2020, I thought about perfect vision, yet this year seems blurrier than ever. There's so much uncertainty. You may be wondering, will I have a job after graduation? Or what kind of relationship can I have if I need to social distance myself? Or where am I going to live? These were all the same questions that I had told I was going blind. 
I didn't know what kind of career a person who was blind could have. I didn't know what kind of girl would want to be with a guy who couldn't see. And I didn't know where I could live if I couldn't drive. Definitely not in my home state of North Carolina. I was consumed by fear and doubt. Class of 2020, I don't have 2020 vision, but I know for a fact you will get through this. You will get stronger and you will make an impact. Just by getting to this point, this momentous day, you've proved it. It's required hard work and dedication, and you should be proud of yourself. I think I was asked to speak today because I know a thing or two about college. Well, actually, I know six and a half years to be exact. That's how long it took me to finish up school. As a kid of Indian immigrants, it was expected that we either went down engineering or medicine. Well, my sister decided to go to the medical track and she became a doctor. And I went the engineering route. I went to Virginia Commonwealth University. But during my first year of college, I was diagnosed with a degenerating eye condition and I was told I was going blind. I didn't cope well with the devastating news and my actions led to me failing out of college. And I found myself going back home to North Carolina and moving in with my friends at NC State. I was embarrassed and ashamed and I didn't want people to know that I failed out of VCU and that I was going blind. So to keep up appearances, I enrolled in classes through the lifelong education program at state. In this program, I was limited to class taking only seven credits a semester. But eventually, I had taken so many credits, I hustled my way into college. And I earned a degree in accounting. Before I entered college, I would never imagine the turns my life would take. But from the falls and stumbles that I had, I learned so much and it propelled me in my career around the globe including stints in India, New York, and Africa. All the while losing my sight. Before I moved to Africa, I had two goals for myself. One was to be a top 30 executive under 30, which I never made any such list, but I feel like I was successful. I built a multi-million dollar business. And my second goal was to climb the highest mountain in Africa summit Mount Kilimanjaro and I did that too but I had a lot of challenges on the way even before I started the seven-day trek my biggest fear was the fact that I would have to ascend in the middle of the night if I wanted to reach the summit by sunrise at this point my night vision was pretty much gone and I was scared I wouldn't be able to make it if I couldn't see but after the first day on the trail, I didn't even think that was going to be an issue because I didn't think I was going to make it. Even the guide who was leading us didn't think I was going to make it. Yet, I found myself face to face with my biggest fear, preparing to make the ascent in the middle of the night. Right before we were about to go, my friend turned to me and said, take off your headlamp off your head and let's put it on the guide's foot. And I could use my limited sight to follow it up the hill. Well, we did it and I reached my goal. And I was standing on the roof of Africa. It's one of the most remarkable things I've done in my life. I learned a lot on the mountain, but none more important than the fact that resiliency was critical for my success. I learned that I could overcome obstacles if I was innovative and I figured out ways around my barriers. So with that, I packed up my bags and I moved to Washington, DC to pursue my MBA at the George Washington University. During the first week of MBA orientation, I was at a roundtable event in the, in the City View room at the Elliott School. We had name cards where we were supposed to go sit, but I couldn't see where my seat was. So I turned to the person next to me for help. It was Dean Riddle, the same person who had recruited me to GW, but she had no idea I couldn't see. Her warmth and support empowered me to be open about my vision loss and allowed me to be my authentic self. The fact I was able to be my true self also let me open up my heart. And I met my wife, Nicole, in all places, macroeconomics. Thanks, Professor Lasardi. After graduation, I joined a FinTech startup where we were raising capital for businesses and projects in emerging markets. But after three years, the company folded and I found myself without a job. 
the timing couldn't have been worse. Nicole and I had just bought a house and we had just welcomed our first child. The stress of all this caused my sight to deteriorate even faster and I fell into dark times. But around this time, a friend of mine sent me an article about a software that was developed at a company called SAS that was designed to help people who are blind visualize graphs and charts using sounds. But the coolest thing about this, it was developed by a guy named Ed Summers who had the same eye condition as me and lived in my hometown of Cary, North Carolina. Up until this point, I had never met another blind person in my life, so I knew I had to go meet him. So I tried for months to get in touch with him, but no luck. Finally, Nicole said, if Ed can live in North Carolina, maybe we can too. So we started looking for houses online and we found one and we told my parents. They got so excited. They never thought I was coming home. And as they're talking to us on the phone, my dad jumped in the car and started driving to go look at the house. And while he's driving, he started yelling at something. I said, what are you doing, dad? He said, there's a blind guy on the road. Maybe it's the guy you're trying to get in touch with. I said, dad, please don't yell at blind people. Don't yell at anyone on the road. So he got out of the car and walked towards the man. And he asked, are you Ed Summers? And the man said, well, yes, I am. I was shocked. I think Ed was even more shocked. What this experience taught me was that even in the darkest of moments, it's important to keep hope and keep moving. Little did I know that this random encounter would start a new chapter in my life and bring me home to work towards my life's passion. Today, I work for an organization called LCI Tech. We're a division of LCI, the largest employer of Americans who are blind. And we're located just seven miles from where I grew up. Our mission at LCI Tech is to remove the barriers that have hindered people with disabilities from pursuing careers in the knowledge economy. And one way we're doing this is by providing digital accessibility services to ensure that people of all abilities have access to the web. My hope is that through our work, that companies will include accessibility as part of their diversity and inclusion strategy and will help people with disabilities keep moving in their careers. Before I joined LCI, I had no idea that the unemployment rate of people who are blind was 70%. It was only after I started spending time with people with disabilities and hearing their stories that I was able to build empathy. And that's what I needed to be able to lead a change. Throughout my career, I looked at leaders who I worked with and who were around me, and none of them were blind. So I tried to fit a mold of what I thought a leader was. What I learned is I was blind to the fact that a great leader is somebody who learns from their failures. A great leader is somebody who's authentic. A great leader is somebody who is resilient and empathetic. GWSB graduates, you are these leaders. Share your stories, embrace your diversity, and keep moving in your, with your goals. It's a vision that you need to embrace yourself. Look past the fears and doubts and focus on the foundation you've built here at GW and it will serve you well on the next steps of your journey. I can't wait to see where you go. Congratulations, class of 2020, and thank you. Thank you, John. We appreciate your willingness to speak to our outstanding class of 2020 today and providing such inspirational and valuable advice to our graduates as they go out into the world to be leaders and global problem solvers. I also want to thank Victoria Brill for a terrific speech today. Now it is time to celebrate our graduates. As you have been throughout the ceremony, all our graduates' names have been scrolling. But now we want to give a short shout out to each of our programs. We will start with a very special group, our three Doctor of Philosophy recipients, all of whom had a supportive advocate, Sokhwan Kang, Professor of Accountancy. Meng Hai Gao finished in summer 2019 and the title of her dissertation was Manager's Assessment of Economic Factors and Firm's Investment Efficiency. Next, Jun Shok Moon, who also finished in summer 2019, had a dissertation title of Profitability of Corporate Acquisitions and the Acquisition Premium. And finally, Hyun Jong Na, who finished in fall 2019 with the dissertation title of Disappearing Work Ca Working Capital, Implications for Accounting Research. Congratulations to you three. Now we will celebrate our master's candidate. Even though we cannot be with you in person, 
Please know, we are extremely proud of your accomplishments. Family, friends, faculty and staff, please join me in celebrating our graduates of Master of Accountancy, Master of Business Administration, Master of Science in Business Analytics, Master of Science in Finance, Master of Science in Government Contracts, Master of Human Resource Management, Master of Science in Information Systems Technology, Master of Interdisciplinary Business Studies, Master of Science in International Business, Master of Science in Sports Management, Master of Science in Project Management, Master of Tourism Administration. Whether you earned a master's or a doctorate, you can all be proud of what you have achieved. You have successfully completed a rigorous course of study at one of the world's finest institutions, gaining the knowledge, skills and aptitude necessary to compete and excel in today's global business environment. You have also earned something equally valuable, membership in the GWSB alumni community, a 50,000 strong worldwide network of dynamic individuals who have compiled a remarkable record of success in countless fields of endeavor. One thing we have all learned through the recent global crisis is how very important connection is. As part of our GWSB family, I urge you to stay engaged and stay in touch with your classmates as well as those who have gone before at GWSB. I guarantee in the years to come, you will find the GWSB alumni community to be an enormous professional asset. While commencement is an important life milestone, signifying a new beginning, the start of professional career or the pursuit of additional advanced academic challenges, I would also urge you to stay connected with GWSB. Your education was enhanced significantly by former GWSB students who gave generously of their time and talents in sharing their real world business experiences with current students. I hope the students who follow you can count on you to pay it forward. I ask each of you to do your part and then some to be a supportive member of our great community. Come back to mentor our students and share your expertise and experience so that the next generation can benefit and the GW community can continue to thrive. Another great way to stay connected is by joining us online from anywhere in the world for our George Talks Business webcast series, which features interviews with industry leaders on timely, relevant topics in the world of business. Also, I invite you to tune in for our new George Talks Business mini series an online selection of short video messages highlighting GWSB faculty expertise. I'm confident that your GWSB education has equipped you to succeed in today's business environment and in adapting to its shifting demands. As we imagine and anticipate the post-pandemic world, it is ever clearer that all of us will need to continue to learn and adapt. At GWSB, we are committed to the concept of lifelong learning. You can count on us to be here for you to offer the resources you need to continue learning. The pace of challenge and change in the global business environment will require acquiring new knowledge and new skills on an increasingly frequent basis. We have reimagined business education to keep pace with and anticipate the continually evolving business world. And we hope you will continue to think of your alma mater as your learning needs evolve over the course of your career. This year, we significantly enhanced our undergraduate and graduate programs, guided by our students' needs to meet the changing demands of the career market. GWSB's new approach to undergraduate business education, four plus one programs, flexible, stackable graduate certificate programs available both online and on campus, and expanded graduate degree offerings are all designed to meet the goal of the delivering two lifelong learning. Whether you're looking to upskill, reskill, or change career paths, we invite you to return and learn with GWSB and to help you take advantage of all that we have to offer and to continue your pursuit of lifelong learning. I am very pleased to announce today that all GW graduates of the class of 2020 
that are, are going to be entitled to receive substantially reduced tuition through special scholarship grants for GWSB graduate certificates and specialized master's graduate programs that start in fall 2020. Now to close, we will have the playing of the GW alma mater followed by a video montage message to our graduates from our faculty and staff. Thank you for spending this time with us as we celebrate the GWSB class of 2020. Raise high. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud and we are so happy for you. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are proud of you. To the great class of 2020, you've gone through this pandemic while you are in school and you did it. Congratulations. Greetings from accounting headquarters during COVID-19 in my basement. This is Professor Kyle Welch. I'm reaching out to say congratulations on a job well done, class of 2020. Super exciting that you're graduating. I have to tell you, my hat is a little bit different than what you'd normally see in a graduation, along with my shirt. It looks much more ridiculous in a graduation. You're not missing out on much, so don't feel too bad. The ceremony is basically a lot of people coming up, getting their degree, you anticipating that, and then after you have it, looking at your watch, waiting for the event to be over. I dress up um, as like some sort of Muppets chef uh, gone bad in my weird hat and my tassels and all that other stuff, and you guys dressing up. In fact, it's just like the chef from the Muppet, Muppets. Like somebody's sitting up there with a crazy hat on and trying to figure out these names. You have no idea what he's saying. Getting rid of that, because what's happened right now is you guys have actually done something pretty incredible. You have finished your program. You're graduating. And thank goodness you don't have to sit and listen to a bunch of people pronounce names wrong for about an hour and a half of the things as a professor that you are like terrified to do among them. One of them is trying to pronounce everybody's name that comes up for their diploma. That is a stressful job. So like I said, congratulations. I apologize that you're missing out on the pomp and circumstance that would normally happen but that should not detract at all from what you've accomplished and what you've done. And if you want, I'm pretty sure you could come back another year and we'll just stick you in the line and you can listen to everybody pronounce their names wrong. So congratulations. Stay in touch. Don't lose sight of what this school is and being a part of it and reaching back out and being a part of it into your future. Your undergrad program should be a special place for you and uh, it should always be with you. So congratulations. Good luck. And am I supposed to say good luck in wear a mask? I don't know. Whatever it is, congratulations on a job well done. Greetings, class of 2020. This is Professor Terabishi wishing you a happy and successful future. Congratulations. Now let me go back to work. Congratulations, GWSB graduates. Though we cannot celebrate in person this year, I hope to see you next May. These seats will be reserved for you. Graduates, I have some bees for you. Be memorable. Through your brilliance, bright smile, or going that extra mile. Be bold and brave. Leap at new opportunities and open to new locations. Be kind and humble. No one wants to work with a jerk and the world is small. And finally, be in touch. We've loved working with you and are excited about the new opportunities and your successes. Go Colonials! 
Hi, and congratulations, class of 2020. This is Dr. Liebrens Himes saying you come through the worst and you're going to be the best. Congratulations and go out and make things happen. Remember the three types of people, those that make things happen, those who make things happen, and those that wake up one day and say, what happened? Go out and make things happen. Nice job, class of 2020. Congratulations on your many accomplishments and good luck. Your future is bright. Congratulations to all the graduating students of class 2020 George Washington University School of Business, specifically to our project management students. I wish you all the best. Stay strong as we put this uncertain time behind us. Congratulations, class of 2020, on a job well done. Stay safe, and I look forward to reconnecting with you in the future. Congratulations, class of 2020. You have overcome many challenges and achieved a lot this past year and have a bright future ahead of you. We look forward to staying in touch and hearing from you often. From all of us to all of you, congratulations. To all of our GWSB graduates, near and far, we are proud to virtually celebrate your achievements. Congratulations. Congratulations, class of 2020, and best wishes for your next adventure. Congratulations, class of 2020. On behalf of the entire staff of the Frala Career Center, we wish you the greatest of congratulations and look forward to having you come back to campus in the future and share your stories with the classes that come behind you. Again, congratulations from all of us to all of you. This is Gaston de los Reyes, and I'd like to congratulate you on your great accomplishment of graduating. Stay centered, keep up with your networks, and stay focused on your vision. I wish you the best. Congratulations. From Global and Experiential Education. Congratulations, class of 2020. We join you, your family, and friends in celebrating this occasion. Congratulations, class of 2020. You did it. Raise high. Congratulations, GWSB graduates. It's been an honor and a privilege to work with each of you. Onward and upward. Congrats to the class of 2020. We are so, so proud of you. Wish you the very best. Congratulations, class of 2020. Woo! Class of 2020, we are so proud of you and we're so thankful that you're part of our community. Stay in touch with us and come back and celebrate next year. Congratulations, all of you members of the class of 2020. You are indeed a special group. You're special not only because of everything you gave up and how hard you worked, but also at the moment that you were here in D.C. You're a proud member of the George Washington University community, but you need to also understand that you are now officially, regardless of where you grew up, a Washington national. And may Sean Doolittle save you when your hours are dark, and may Max Scherzer lead you through two Cy Young Awards. May you drink deep of an Oktoberfest beer. May you have and enjoy a deep bottle of red wine when the moment strikes you, and may the youth of your life be moved by an official World Series baseball signed by Juan Soto. We couldn't have done this without you, but more importantly, it's you and the day and where you will go and how you will live and that someday you will buy your children the buff and the blue and that you will see us here again because not only were we here for you now, we will be here for you then. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hi there, Jahan Dixon here, congratulating all of the spring 2020 graduates, particularly the Master of Accountancy students. Woohoo, you did it! It's over! Sorry we couldn't be there in person to celebrate you, but just know we're super proud of you. Hi, GWSC 2020 graduates. This is Alexis. David. Anna. On behalf of the GW Cyber, our Center for International Business Education and Research, 
We would like to congratulate you on this impressive achievement. We want to thank you for participating in our international business programming for students. And we look forward to seeing you emerge as leaders in global business and working with you as alumni. Raise, Raise high. high. Congratulations to the class of 2020. You have a great future ahead of you. Cheers. Congratulations, class of 2020. Class of 2020. I wish I could be a person to celebrate all your accomplishments. Congratulations, class of 2020. We are very proud of you. Hello, this is Professor Scott Lancaster. I'd like to give a congratulatory shout out to all our 2020 graduates. I am very proud of all you have accomplished here at George Washington University. What I'm really looking forward to is hearing about all of the wonderful things you will accomplish after this. Again, congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. You made it. And you made it in a very unusual time. So you earned your degree many times over. Now, go enjoy it. Again, congratulations. Okay. Robin Tarpley here from the Department of Accountancy. I just want to wish the class of 2020 a congratulations. And thank you for sharing part of your journey with us here at GWSB. You all will have a fantastic story to tell for years to come. As we all will, we were here with you. Um, I would love for you to keep in touch. I'd love to hear where you are and how you're doing. And for your accountants out there, don't let anyone tell you the joke about debits to the window and credits to the door. I never understood that joke. All you need to know is that accounts rock. Again, congratulations and all the best. Well done, class of 2020. Keep up the great GW spirit. Congratulations to the class of 2020. Raise high. Hats off to the class of 2020. Hey, GW graduates. Congratulations. I know this is a difficult time, but your degrees are worth more than ever. You all have an expertise in sports management, and boy, do we need it now. These are unprecedented times with unprecedented challenges and we're in the process of reinventing ourselves and we're going to need the skills that you've all learned in your great gw program to help us do just that i know all of you can make a difference once you hit the workforce again as i said we're going to have to think of new ways to do things that were unimaginable just a few months ago so we look forward to having your help at the league at our teams and in any sports program you end up in so congratulations enjoy your graduation Hello, graduates. This is Jerry Reinsdorf from the Chicago Bulls and the Chicago White Sox and a, and a fellow uh, GW alum. Uh, I want to offer my congratulations to everybody on your graduation. It's unfortunate that uh, you're not going to have the full pomp and circumstance, but that really doesn't take away from the great education that you received. And so uh, uh, go out into the world and change the world, make it a better place, and uh, make a better life for yourselves. Thanks to your education at GW.